Hi there and welcome to uh, the review of the Roomba 880 which is iRobot's latest vacuum cleaning robot and to unbox we have the manual which has a quick start guide and the main manual including the warranty instructions we have the main unit we have a docking station and we also have some virtual walls which double up as lighthouses as well which I'll explain more about later power cable with some batteries as well and we also have a remote control the first thing you will need to do is turn the Roomba over onto its onto the back and you'll see these yellow inserts they need to be removed uh, this covers the bin container and this covers the battery so you just need to make sure they're removed um, do take care because this Roomba 880 is uh, it's uh, fairly weighty so once you're ready to start uh, there is a big button here which says clean you simply press that button which shows you the uh, battery status at the moment that's green if it's red it means the battery is empty uh, and I believe it, f it flashes orange when it's being charged so this tells us that the battery is full uh, you will be prompted to set the, the time um, I've already done that but to go back I can just click on this button here which is the clock and I can go through, through the days of the week here uh, go through the hours of the day, um, minutes and once you're happy you can then press OK So this is your main faceplate with the power button and your other buttons to make selections. Uh, notice the carry handle here and also the bin compartment. If you just press this button and pull out, that's your main uh, bin compartment which you can just empty after every use. And inside here is the filter. So just make sure uh, this goes on with a little click. So just before we get started I just wanted to show you the underside of the machine. Um, the main feature really is the Aeroforce performance cleaning system which is a vast improvement from the previous Roomba models um, but it still has the uh, spinning side brush which is really useful um, when cleaning alongside walls. Okay, I think we're ready to start now. Um, I've got my camera in my hand. Um, just around the robot cleaner, I have um, just put some salt and there's a, there's a whole load of dirt around where my, my daughter's just had some lunch. So let's press the clean button and see what it does. I know this can look like it goes in all sorts of random directions, but there is uh, an algorithm, uh, a programming uh, system, which means that it cleans the floor entirely. The robot is trying to get out of, of the room at the moment. I've got a, a gate there for my kids. Um, but you could use one of those virtual walls if you didn't want um, the robot cleaner to go out into the hall. Uh, more on that later. Notice how gentle it is around um, objects. My cat doesn't seem to be too bothered about it. It's a very quiet machine as well, um, compared to most vacuum cleaners.
Our rug is about two centimeters um, thick, so uh, it doesn't seem to be having any problems um, going from a hardwood floor uh, to the rug, which is really great news. I find the suction strength is very similar to a cordless upright uh, vacuum cleaner that I currently own. Do you know, I really thought it would struggle a lot more from the, the hardwood floor to the, the rug, but it, it seems to be, even in these sort of areas here, it seems to be quite uh, capable, really. And it's, I've got my tripod there from the video camera, and it's just, uh, yeah, it's not really having any problems at all, which is, which is really good. And then back to the hard floor again. We're now at the top of the stairs. We have a gate at the main entrance, um, but we also have these openings here. Um, the robot vacuum cleaner is designed not to go over edges. And as you can see, it's doing a fine job, which is brilliant really, because it's a, a rental unit. It's not actually mine, so I don't really want it going crashing down the stairs. It seemed to cope with that very, very well. cleaning against the wall very nicely. We talked a little bit earlier about the virtual wall and the uh, lighthouse. As a virtual wall, um, this acts as a barrier to stop the robot from crossing to areas that you perhaps don't want to be cleaned. So for example, I might want the living room clean, but I might not want the kitchen or the hallway clean. So, if I slot this by the doorway, um, it will act as uh, a barrier and it will block openings of up to two meters. Um, and if I want to use it as a lighthouse, well, this works slightly differently. Um, the robot, if you want it to clean the living room and the kitchen and the hallway, um, the further it goes from the docking station, the harder it can be to return. So this acts as a lighthouse and it actually helps to guide uh, the Roomba back to the home base docking station. The virtual wall uh, lighthouse needs batteries, so if we just open up this container here and you can just slot in the batteries which it came with. Let's replace this. Oops. Okay, and then we're good to go. Okay, the setup I have here is I'm using the virtual wall as a barrier to stop um, the robot from cleaning around where my cat would normally be having her food. So this has about a 50 centimeter diameter. So I'm just going to see what it does when I start cleaning. Okay, so it's identified that it shouldn't be cleaning anywhere near this bowl. I mentioned earlier about the Roomba cleaning pattern and how there are various cleaning behaviours, uh, which can seem quite random, but the manual goes through this in a little bit more detail, um, including the spiralling motion, uh, coupled with, in some cases, the the cleaning around the wall, um, and also how the Roomba can just crisscross uh, across the room. Okay, I just wanted to show you quickly how the machine docks with the docking station over there. So if you look at the button here, it says dock. If you just click once on that button, it will return to dock.
One of the things that I really love about this robot vacuum cleaner is the fact that you can schedule a time to clean and that's really important for me. Running a family with a couple of kids and a cat, there's just always bits and hair and all sorts everywhere and it, it's almost like I need to vacuum every day. Um, so if I can schedule this overnight, it would really help me. And assuming you set up the time and day correctly, which you would have had to have done initially, all you have to do is click on schedule and you've got the days of the week here. So I'm going to choose Tuesday at uh, maybe five o'clock in the morning just before we all wake up. And I'm gonna click okay, so now that's been saved. Okay, the last thing I want to show you really is just a, a demonstration of the remote control. The batteries have been provided to. Um, and we've got here spot cleaning. We've got um, just the general clean. This here is to dock. And these are your directions. So let's give it a go. Let's click on the clean button. Okay, let's start moving around. Let's turn to the right, straight on. Way, this is really cool. So you don't have to keep bending down and pressing buttons for the most part. You can just get this to get the remote control to do it for you. Okay, well just to summarise the Roomba 880, um, it's a really amazing piece of kit. Um, a very good robot vacuum cleaner, which is quiet, um, it's easy to set up out of the box as you saw. Um, you have your remote control, um, the scheduling, which is the best part for me um, and probably for many of you. I guess there are two drawbacks really. One of them is the small bin container, which means you are going to have to empty it more frequently than you're probably used to with other machines. Um, and the second part is the cost. It is a very expensive vacuum cleaner. Um, I think it's worth the money um, and some of you who perhaps struggle with vacuuming uh, probably will think the same. Um, so thanks very much for watching my review.